What's up, it's Blaine's Plant Vlog, and in the previous video, I showed you how to remove the banana pups from the mother plant. So this is the mother banana plant, and um, there were two little baby banana plants right down there, and I removed them to um, to um, keep all the nutrients going to this main plant right here. So they're not there anymore, and it looks nicer like this anyways. And where they are right now, I'll show you where they are. I planted them up, they had roots and good root system. The first one's underneath this big banana plant right here, right here um yeah i had quite a bit of roots had it even had its own corm system so i planted it right below this banana plant right here so eventually this area will be a, a banana grove of like five banana plants but yeah that one's right there underneath this main plant um and then and then so the other one i put actually had roots too so i planted it in this pot I hear it's too small to be in the element, so I put it like in this area because it's really weak. Um, so it's kind of sheltered right here. Um, that's small and tiny, so, but yeah, those are the two banana plants, pop pups, banana pups. That's what you call a um, offshoot of a mother plant right there, and then that pot right there. And so in winter time, what am I doing with my bananas? Is so I don't have to start over in winter. You know how they, they're not frost tolerant, so they will die back to the ground if they get a freeze. Um, instead of letting that happen, I'm going to dig them up before the first frost and they're in the garage. They'll be dug up, put in like a, like a container with some dirt, lay them in there, take the leaves off and walk away in front of them. And then, and when, when spring comes back, I'll go back in, um, take them out of the garage, plant them right exactly where they are now. And then they'll, con should, they will actually, they will. Um, they will continue, they'll put a leaf out, and then the whole cycle will begin again. And then it'll look like this by April, by March, mid-March again. And then by next season, this thing will be about 10 feet tall and should be fruit. Sorry, <coughs> <coughs> should be fruiting by then, this time next summer or fall. And uh, that'll be very exciting. These banana pups, on the other hand, will probably need two more seasons. This one will need one more season. Um, that one will need two more seasons. The one in the pot will probably only need one more season. It's pretty big. Um, this one in the pot actually will just be um, in the pot. It won't be um, taken out or anything. Um, it's where it's going to be until it fruits. But yeah, this one was growing much slower when it had those two um, banana pups attached to it because um, it was sapping too much energy away. But now that I took care of that, all the bananas are happy all by themselves and they live happily ever after.